It was a blessing, Miss Julie. We appreciate that. <clears throat> Can you imagine? The whole town taking the orders from one lady. Pretty crazy. Mr. Marty, I have to ask a question uh, regarding our YouTube availability. We, yes or no? All right. Well, that means that we are going to have a special music from um, uh, Miss Charmaine Brown. Oh, but wait a minute. Before Charmaine comes up, Brother Ray, didn't you have something you needed to come up and say? I remember that now. Brother Ray and I had a text conversation, and there is a blessing that's going to happen to our... Oh, there's somebody else got to come up, isn't there? You got to go where you got to go. Oh, Pastor Ricky, would you accompany your wife up the stairs, please, to come to the platform? There is a tradition called Pastor Appreciation in the month of October. And uh, we want to appreciate, we want to let our, our, our parish leaders, Pastor Ricky, come on up, and uh, Judy, one of you come on one side of me and one of you on the other side, please, so that we can split you up here at the platform. And um, we just have a little token of our appreciation uh, that you can open up later. One's got a truck on it, Rick. We know you miss uh, Audrey's truck. No. <laughs> and, and you know the thing about it is that uh, we can't thank you enough. These people, uh, they rose up to the occasion that we needed a, a lay pastor. And so we thank the Lord for that. Amen. And um, when you appreciate somebody, you know, we talked about that in Sabbath school. Love is something you do. Well, I happen to know that both Ricky and Judy love not only this congregation, but they love this church and, and have rebuilt and part of the rebuilding of the church. And we know that there's others, and because Dennis would bring up their names that help physically to restore this building, but these two have uh, spearheaded it. But not only that, um, it's in the evenings when, on Friday night, when Ricky and uh, whoever is going to be the speaker the next day, he's so patient as his bulletin leader. He'll let us wait till the 11th hour, so to speak, to make a change in the bulletin. Because, you know, lay pastor, you work. Um, lay speaker, Ray works. Donovan works. And I work. And if you're going to be a speaker, you got to have time. So I don't even know how they do it. But I'm so thankful for everything you've done. I'm going to stop wandering on the same subject and pass the baton to uh, to Donovan. Donovan's going to speak next. I just wanted to read this Psalms uh, for Pastor Ricky and Miss Judy. Psalms 91. I'll just read one and two, okay? He that dwelleth in the, in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortune, my God. In him I will trust. And I just want to say, you know, when I just came to this church, you know, Pastor Ricky and Miss Judy has been so kind. Kind. And I know a lot of you out there can testify about that also. You know, to my family. You know, and they have extended more than what we could ever imagine. You know, and we love him and we appreciate him. Both, we appreciate you both for being so tender-hearted for this congregation. And you know, I tell you, when we came, we didn't have anywhere to live, and you know, we got this place, and we wanted a fence around it. And Pastor Ricky came by one day and said, "You need a fence around this permit?" And I said, "Yes." He said, "I can do it for you." And I was like, "That's a lot of work." And he said, "No, I can do it for you, Donald." And I said, "Okay." So we did it and we thank God for him just reaching out because that was a lot of money to do that. And to see him driving from New Smyrna every day. And we, we tried to do it for two weeks, but we went over, you know, but we thank God and, you know, and that shows me the love, you know, and other people in the congregation can testify about the goodness of Pastor Ricky Arts, you know, and his wife allowing him, him to do that also is a privilege, an opportunity we have. 
And another thing, you know, I praise God for is, you know, the spirit of prophecy in the last days, you know, the lay leaders of the church is going to wrap this thing up. You understand what I'm saying? There is no, not going to be anyone from the seminars coming out to save us. It's going to be the lay pastor who's going to end this message. So we thank God for you, that you may continue to serve him, and he may be your refuge and strength, both of you, in the time of need. We love you and we appreciate you. Okay. Why don't you two get together? We're going to present this to you from us and uh, from the whole congregation, these little things of our affection. And I could speak all day about these two wonderful people. I'm just going to say a couple quick things because uh, I, I want to give the speaker time to speak. But it, it, if Miss Judy doesn't have the gift of hospitality, there's nobody on this planet that does. Okay, and Mr. Ricky is hard as as big as Texas. I mean, you call him at two o'clock in the morning, he's going to be there. That's right. I, I love this man. I mean, Amen. what more could you say? And uh, we love you guys. I love you too. Amen. Thank Praise you. God. I've got the sermon next week. I'll say something next week. <laughs> I love this congregation. I love y'all. I love Jesus.